T-minus, four, three, two, one. The following is a 24 hours podcast. The battle to get women's ski jumping into the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver is headed to the courts. Lawyer Ross Clark filed a BC Supreme Court lawsuit on May 21st on behalf of an international group of female flyers fighting for equality. The International Olympic Committee voted against adding women's ski jumping in 2006. Our argument is that Vanock is carrying out the policy of the federal government, the provincial government, and our municipal governments, Whistler and Vancouver. In doing so, and because they are doing so, they are subject to the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which, as we all know, sets out the fundamental values that Canadians hold dearest. One of them, one of the things in the Charter is gender equity. I want to make this right for future girls in the sport. This is not right anymore. This has to change. Um, this needs to be fixed. Um, I don't want to have to tell girls coming up that I'm going to be coaching that there's really no future for you. Um, that hurts. That I, I'm only 21, like Didi said, and I would love to be able to compete in the Olympic Games. However, I, I want to see the girls younger than me um, and in the next generations to never have to deal with uh, this struggle that we've had to deal with. I, I want to see them given equal opportunity and like Lindsay said earlier, y you want to be able to tell these girls that they do have an Olympic Games and a World Championships to look forward to. It would be so fantastic for Vancouver and the IOC to make this simple decision. All we're asking for is one event. Now, keep in mind the men have three events. They have an event on the normal hill, an event on the large hill, and a team event. All we're asking for is one event for the women on the normal hill. We can fit it in. And wouldn't it be phenomenal for both Vancouver and the IOC to be able to say in 2010, we have just made history. We have the first totally gender equal Olympic Games in history. 24hours.ca